Four years ago today, over two million people defied Spain and voted in a referendum on Catalan independence deemed illegal. Pre-independence parties have failed to agree on a shared political roadmap since then. But today, they stage repeated displays of unity. This is Catalan News in 100 seconds from Plaza Francesc Macià, where hundreds of pro-independence supporters have gathered to demand a renewed independence push. Parties in favor of splitting from Spain invoked the spirit of the October 1st referendum on its fourth anniversary. The 2017 vote went ahead despite the violent Spanish police crackdown, but the push for a Catalan Republic has been at standstill to this day. Parties differ on how to proceed, with some favoring dialogue with Spain and others taking a more confrontational approach. Four uh, years later, the new government, the government I lead, is promoting a negotiation process with the Spanish government. We think it's the only viable way to find a solution. Yo creo que Catalunya vol passar pàgina. Si l'1 d'octubre, amb tot el respecte a les persones doncs, que van creure que la independència seria possible amb aquell procediment, ha quedat bastant clar que no va ser possible. The nine Catalan leaders who were convicted over the referendum have spent this day outside of prison for the first time in four years. Spain pardoned them last June, paving the way for renewed talks with the Catalan government. I was released uh, three months ago, so means that it's my first uh, first of October that I can uh, celebrate with the rest of the population. Carles Puigdemont has asked the General Court of the EU to restore his immunity as a member of the European Parliament. The former Catalan president faces an extradition hearing next Monday in Sardinia and is wanted by Spanish authorities. The second day of the train driver's strike caused widespread delays and disruption across the Rodalias railway network connecting Barcelona with the rest of Catalonia. More than 400 trains were cancelled. That's all for today, and on a personal note, that's been all from me. After four years, today is my last day at Catalan News, so thanks for being there, and it's been my pleasure.